Hey YouTube, coming at you with a real quick video here. Um, this is to people that are, uh, have a parts kit that are missing a pin, which is unlikely. Or if you have a Polish PPS-43C pistol and you're going to be converting it into an SBR. Now, do not manufacture this until you get your approved Form 1 back. I haven't done that. I don't have my approved Form 1 back. But um, these were... Uh, measurements I was able to get digging around the internet long enough. So, anyway, um, your hole in your receiver is going to be 0 .430. The actual standard pistol pin is a complete faux pin, so you'll see the hole is tiny. It's like a quarter inch, something like that. Um, and there are your dimensions. So, you're smart. You can figure that out. Um, if you can't read, if you can't read dimensions, then you're probably not in a position to be making one in the first place. But is what it is. Um, this measurement right here, this little nub goes into the actual locking bar. That length is 0 0.274. Make it 0.274 if you're welding. Extend this to 0 0.400 if you do not want to weld it. So if you actually look in here. The poles when they put these, but they put these pins in, they didn't weld them. They peened them. You can see hammer marks in that. So what they did was they started out with a longer pin and then they just peened it over. So that's what I'm going to be doing. That way I don't have to weld it. And that's what I suspect probably about half of you guys would probably end up wanting to do. But if you have a lathe, make make one of these pins. If you've got a drill press and some files, you can make one of these pins. Like. It's not ideal, but I mean, it's not actually difficult to make parts like this in reality. Um, maybe a little time consuming if you got a drill press on a file, but is what it is. Um, if that's all you needed, go away. Um, but I'm going to be going over these measurements in case, you know, you can't read this for some reason. So from this flat surf, from the, this flat surface right here, when it stops and it bevels at that height between that line and that line, are 0 0.038 inches. This is this section of the pin is 0 0.388 inches in diameter. The height from the very top of the pin to that shelf are 0 0.407 inches. This section to this section is 0 0.369 inches. As I said, 0 0.388 diameter up top. The total length of the pin, if not welding, caveat, is 1.806 inches. This section of the pin is 1.149 inches. The diameter of this is 0 0.190 inches. The section, this little nub on the pin is 0 0.0274 inches. The diameter is 0 0.0161 inches inches. If you are not welding, extend this 2.74 out to 0.400. So that's about it. Um, if you guys contact me, uh, if you're incapable of making one of these, once I get my Form 1 back, that way there's no constructive possession nonsense, which I should have it back. Prob let's just say stay safe and say December 10th. I should have an approved Form 1 back. I'll let you guys know. Once I get an approved Form 1 back, send me a email at loganbarnett707. That is spelled L-O-G-B-A-R-N-E-T-T-E-707 -E 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 at gmail.com. And I will be more than happy to make you a pin and mail it to you for a fee. So that's about it, guys. Uh, let me know if you need anything else. See ya.